Canada's under-20 men's rugby team had a hard-fought battle with Zimbabwe in their opening match of the Junior World Rugby Trophy. Through consistent play and some precise kicking by fly half Connor Braid, the young Canadians came out on top of a 22-6 decision. Zimbabwe was first to score through Danny Robertson's penalty kick, but for the remainder of the match, Braid kicked five penalties and a convert. Pat Fraser would touch down for the only try of the match in the second half. Zimbabwe pulled back a late drop goal, but failed to breach the Canadian defence. Canadian head coach Tim Murdy had this to say after the win. I'd like to congratulate Zimbabwe on the way they played the game. Uh, obviously, they were very unfortunate in the, in the first half not to come away with some points. Um, you know, it's a difficult day or difficult thing sometimes for uh, kickers in international rugby. And, and um, luckily for us and uh, unluckily for Zimbabwe, he had, had a bit of an off day the, in the first half at least. Um, however, they had lots of possession and lots of opportunity and, uh, you know, one bounce here, one pass there, maybe things, a couple things could have gone differently. So I'm very proud of our boys, the way they played. They, um, they were able to scramble back on defense several times and, um, and ensure that uh, Zimbabwe weren't able to cross the line. So happy with the result and uh, lots to work on, but uh, proud of the boys. Canadian captain Andrew Crow is extremely pleased with the effort his team put on the field. Um, I'd just like to congratulate Zimbabwe. They made us work very, very hard. Um, they're a very strong team, and uh, they didn't let down at any point of the game. Um, very physical and very fast, and so it was a very good match for us, and we're proud to play against them. It was an honour. Next up, Canada take on Russia on May 22nd. Stay tuned for a full match preview.